This week on The Wire, buyers seek larger homes, 218 locations past a million dollars, and first home buyer lending hits record. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. You can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, buyers seek larger homes. So the pandemic has driven structural change in housing patterns and one fifth of the customers of Stockland, the country's largest listed residential developer, choose to live further out from cities than they otherwise would. Now Stockland's chief executive, Taryn Gupta, says the shift driven by more people working from home will last for the foreseeable future. Gupta says, clearly there is a cohort of our customers. We think it's about 20% of buyers who would have previously bought in the middle inner rings and are now seeking larger homes in outer ring areas. Because the workplace is different, people are working from home more and they are choosing to buy bigger homes further out. So Stockland, which focuses on owner-occupied buyers and lower priced homes in the large greenfield sites it develops, is well placed to meet this demand, he says. Is it structural? I think for the foreseeable future, we do see that continuing, that shift to master plan communities, Gupta says. And now guys, moving on for our next story. 218 locations pass a million dollars. So CoreLogic's inaugural million dollar markets report has identified 218 markets where either house or unit median values in a suburb reach the million dollar mark in May 2021 compared to May 20. 2020, I should say. The report also highlights how the current housing market upswing has happened nationwide, with each capital city market and rest of state region recording an increase in values over the last 12 months. Now, Eliza Owen, CoreLogic's head of research Australia, says Australia's housing boom has led to property values increase uh, increases ranging from 5% in Melbourne to a 20.3% rise in values across Darwin, pushing up more vast range of markets up to and beyond the million dollar mark. Now Owen says in the last 12 months, 218 markets joined the million dollar club, 198 of those which were house markets and 20 unit markets. Uh, she says a quarter of the markets that ticked over the million dollar medium were in Sydney with 54 suburbs seeing either house or unit median values in a suburb join the million dollar club. Find, and now guys, for our final story of the week, first home buyer lending hits record. So lending by National Australia Bank to first home buyers has hit a new record high, although buyer enthusiasm for regional properties has slowed compared to last year's rapid growth. Now NAB says it's, uh, it's lending to market newcomers in the first four months of the year surged 67% on 2020, with April being the peak. It also says lending is up 9% on the final four months of 2020 when buyers started to re-enter the market in force, although lending for regional properties eased off by 4% as outer metro suburbs became the clear preference of more buyers. Now, activity is also returning to inner city apartments where prices are relative, relatively subdued following the pandemic lockdowns last year. NAB executive for home ownership, Andy Kerr, says the level of first home buyer activity is uniquely high. But he says the demand, which has prompted the national median price to lift more than 10% in the past year, is causing problems for some aspiring homeowners. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow and subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, guys. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.